Today we're going to talk about what you experience during a Vatican tour. Please remember to subscribe to our channel to be informed of future videos. Vatican City is an independent city-state and enclave surrounded by Rome, Italy. The Vatican City-State, also known simply as the Vatican, became independent from Italy with the Lateran Treaty in 1929. With skip the line access, you walk by the hundreds of people that have been waiting for hours to enter. This is important as you'll have the place to yourselves with a few other tour groups for an hour. We started by walking through all of the galleries. I could stop and take pictures of maps and tapestries, which is easy as we had early access and were practically alone in the hallways. At one point, we stopped in a large window and were able to see the current Pope's residence in the garden since he doesn't live in the apartments any longer. After the galleries, we entered the Sistine Chapel. On this tour, photos aren't allowed so they can keep people moving through, but on private tours, you can't take photos. There were maybe 40 of us in the chapel at this point. The picture shown is the only one in this video that is not one of mine. After leaving the chapel, we headed outside and walked through the Pinecone and Belvedere courtyards. We were able to see the dome by the Basilica from here. I thought Pinecone was an odd name for a courtyard until I saw the statue. Now we needed to walk back through the galleries and chapel to go to the museum. You can see why early access is important as the hallways are now packed and no one can get a good picture of anything. The chapel is also elbow to elbow. Next was the former apartments of the Popes, which are now museums with many beautiful pieces of art. All of the rooms house paintings and sculptures of varying sizes. Here our guide told us stories of the Popes, both good and bad. After the museums, we headed towards St. Peter's Basilica. We walked around to the front where we saw the entire piazza. I wasn't prepared for the scope of how large a basilica is until we entered through the large holy door. We were lucky that this was the year of the Jubilee and the holy doors were chiseled open. They sealed them with cement when closed. Be prepared for a large throng of people. Some visitors only go into the basilica and it will be hard to get a good clean picture, but if you are patient and have the time, you can still get some excellent photos. Your tour will end here so you can stay in the basilica and piazza as long as you wish for more pictures. No trip to Rome would be complete without visiting the Vatican. It is a place that I would definitely visit again. Whether I just go into the basilica or take the tour again, it is well worth it. Thanks for watching and please, again, don't forget to subscribe.